A large proportion of living species on Earth live a parasitic way of life. Parasites have traditionally been seen as targets of eradication efforts, and they have often been overlooked in conservation efforts. In the case of parasites living in the wild, and thus harmless to humans and domesticated animals, this view is changing. Topic: Endangered parasite species. A note published in 1990 pointed out that the captive breeding and reintroduction program to save the black-footed ferret would cause the loss of its specific parasites and demanded equal rights for parasites. A paper in 1992 warned that not only the loss of certain host species from the wild, but host population bottlenecks or the fragmentation of host populations would predictably lead to the extinction of host-specific parasites. The paper also noted that parasites exert selective pressures upon their host populations that increase host genetic diversity. At first, this view met with open skepticism. However, it became clear that the co-extinction of hosts and their specific parasites is likely to increase the current estimates of extinction rates significantly. A decade later, a study focusing on highly host-specific groups such as fig wasps, parasites, butterflies, and myrmecophal butterflies estimated the number of parasites put at risk by the endangered status of the host at about 6,300. Other authors argued that host-specific parasite fauna have an unexpected advantage for conservation scientists. Their genealogies and population genetic patterns may help to illuminate their hosts' evolutionary and demographic history. Recently, scientists suggested that rich parasite fauna are inevitably needed for healthy ecosystem functioning and also that parasites and mutualists are the most endangered species on Earth. Even vets have started to argue about the conservational values of parasite species. A recent study on parasites of coral reef fish suggested that extinction of a coral reef fish species would eventually result in the co extinction of at least 10 species of parasites. Although this number might seem high, the study included only large parasites such as parasitic worms and crustaceans, but not microparasites such as Myxosporia and Microsporidia. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Example: Extinct avian lice. The list below follows that of May 2005. Acutifrons caracarensis parasite of the extinct Guadalupe caracara, caracara lutosa, Guadalupe Island, Mexico. Longiminopon dominicanum parasite of the extinct Guadalupe storm petrel, Oceanodroma macrodactyla, Guadalupe Island, Mexico. Rallicola piagea parasite of the possibly extinct New Caledonian rail, Galaralis lefresnianus, New Caledonia. Colocerus hemophagy parasite of the extinct Norfolk Island pigeon, Hemophaga novicilandiae spadacea, Norfolk Island, New Zealand. Colocerus restinctus parasite of the extinct Norfolk Island pigeon, Hemophaga novicilandiae spadacea, Norfolk Island, New Zealand. Rallicola extinctus parasite of the extinct Huia, Heteroloca acutirostris, New Zealand. Philopteroides xenicus parasite of the extinct bushwren, Xenicus longites, New Zealand. 
Cetacabrosis bextini parasite of the extinct Cuban red macaw era tricolor, Cuba. Colpocephalum californici, parasite of the California condor, Gymnogyps californianus. The host was saved by a captive breeding and repatriation program, but the parasite was lost, deliberately killed whenever it was found during the program. Additionally, Columbicola extinctus is a parasite of the extinct passenger pigeon, Ectopistes migratorius. However, recent taxonomic studies show that it is conspecific with the lice living on band-tailed pigeon Columba fasciata, thus it is not extinct. <laughs> Deliberate extermination Naturally, medical and veterinary sciences have attempted to exterminate parasites and pathogens living in humans and in domesticated animals. In the case of a few highly host-specific pathogens, this means the extinction of the entire pathogen species. Throughout human history, however, only one species, the smallpox virus, has been wholly eradicated. The last reported cases of smallpox occurred 1978. However, secure samples are known to still exist in the United States and Russia, purportedly for defensive purposes such as developing new vaccines, antiviral drugs, as well as for diagnostic tests. It is not known, but is speculated that these countries may have shared their samples with some of their allies during the Cold War. A second, potential candidate for deliberate extermination is Dracunculus metanensis, the Guinea worm. Once widespread across some 20 nations of Africa and Asia, the parasite today survives only in four of the countries of sub-Saharan Africa, with only a few hundred known cases of infection in 2011. Prevalent civil wars in the region, such as the war in Darfur, by preventing safe access to medical aid, have resulted in the survival of this species up to the present. See also Conservation-induced extinction <inaudible>